I'm certain it was love at first sight, though I honestly can't remember the first time I saw her. What I do know is that I fell in love with the sea as a child, and from that early age, my course was set for a lifelong voyage more wondrous than even my wildest childhood dreams. Days spent with my family on New England beaches were a taste of something magical, an unusual blend of adventure, mystery, and calmness that stirred my soul and sealed my fate. In my backyard swimming pool, I pretended to be the explorers I saw in National Geographic, imagining I was on an exotic reef or leading expeditions in search of elusive creatures under the sea. Becoming a photographer and an underwater photojournalist made perfect sense, exploring the oceans with a camera and sharing stories about all that I saw. Thinking back on it, I suppose the odds were about a billion to one. A boy from modest beginnings, growing up in a small working class town, actually becoming an undersea explorer and National Geographic photographer. But I guess dreams do come true. I was on assignment in Japan for over four months. It was like swimming through a storybook. Each dive was filled with an array of exotic characters and haunting seascapes. In the Mediterranean, off the coast of Spain, I was photographing bluefin tuna. You know, these are the lions and tigers of the sea. Diving in, in Mexico's Sea of Cortez with a Humboldt squid is an intimidating experience. In Trinidad, I was working with leatherback turtles you know, hanging out on the beaches under moonlight with these primordial creatures. I went to the island of Bimini in the northern Bahamas to photograph lemon shark pups in their mangrove nursery. Well, I love sharks, you know. I think photographically, for me, they represent the perfect blend of grace and power. In the Gulf of St. Lawrence, I spent weeks surrounded by pack ice with these beautiful harp seals in magical light. This ended up becoming a cover story for National Geographic. I spent five weeks in the middle of the Central South Pacific on expedition, diving in places that nobody has ever dived before. Antarctica is like nothing else. You know, the grandeur of the place. There's something pristine about these cold environments. They're harsh to work in photographically, but I love the pureness of it all. Working with manatees was a very zen-like experience. I could spend hours and hours each day just drifting into their world. I was in the sub-Antarctic of New Zealand in wintertime with a population of animals that had never seen a human being before. I often sense a life force emanating from creatures I photograph, an energy that's tangible and defines an individual animal. My hope is to preserve a moment in time, an instant when the creature's spirit is captured in a blend of light, gesture, and grace. All that I've experienced, this life force of the sea and the wounds that she suffers, together they represent Ocean Soul. <laughs>